free software. So if you go to uh, this website, Fritzing, it's, uh, I believe it's a German company. It kind of was born due to the maker movement itself, whether it's Arduino or Raspberry Pi. And how many of you are involved in teaching electronics to either kids? I know G G Gabby is there. Uh, either electronics, I I've also done a couple of workshops at General Assembly even for adults. So I found Fritzing very, very useful in the sense that uh, you can do some breadboard uh, pictures with it as well. So go to Fritzing and you can download it. And I'll be talking about a couple of things, how to kind of do the breadboard diagram for beginners, as well as how to edit a part in Fritzing using SVG, which is also an open source uh, standard. Okay, I cannot use, uh, I need three hands for this. All right, so uh, what I'll do is I will uh, start up Fritzing. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. You can hear me, right? If not, if not, come, let's be closey. Come closer and be closey. All right, so I'll start up Fritzing here. And it's really, I feel, the easiest of all the four, and that's why I'm in introducing this. So uh, you can come here, right over here. Maybe I should start the mouse locator. Ah. Mouse locator. All right, activate it. Okay, you can see this. So over here, you will see the search button, and then you can simply start with, say, a breadboard. And what I find good about this, you know, especially when you teach a beginner, they cannot relate the physical device with the symbol. Like, you know, the resistor is like this, right? But it physically looks very different. So I find uh, Fritzing uh, very uh, useful for that purpose. So for example, here you can draw out the breadboard here, which is the first thing they start, and then it can be, you know, like a resistor. Something like this. And the cool thing is when you kind of like drag and drop it, notice here how these uh, green things will get highlighted to say that these are all energized as well. So go ahead and find more parts. So the good thing is people are continuously adding to the parts library here. And I think you will also hear from Eagle or KiCad about this kind of community. So Fritzing uh, has like Spark Farm, Adafruit and lots of stuff. There is also the schematic version of it. So if you want a schematic, they will automatically also create one. And there is, of course, the PCB one. But I have never used the schematic and the PCB one. The mostly that I use is the breadboard version. And then I have a picture. For example, today, what I did, I went to Johnny5, and then I did a example on tilt. Ah. Maybe I should show you one. So um, I had to do, a, so you can see that this example here, it's all done with fritzing, all these breadboard diagrams. So I find them really, really easy. So whenever you need to show a physical, uh, how it looks like, you can use fritzing. The next thing I want to show you in fritzing is how to edit a part. And this is something I found very useful. Um, so in fritzing, what you can do is, uh, let's find something, let's find tilt. It's a tilt switch. So in Fritzing, you can actually go here and then you can export the part. Let's export it. So when you export it, it will give you this weird file extension FZPZ. So let's export that. And over here, this is how it will look like. The cool thing about this is if you change this to a .zip, you can actually unzip it. And once you unzip it, it will become a folder. And inside the folder, guess what? There are like about like five files. One is with the breadboard. This is how the SVG looks like. The other one is the icon, which is also the same as the breadboard. The one, this one is the PCB. And the last one is the schematic, as you can see. So what we are gonna do now is we're gonna try to edit this. And in order to edit this, uh, I know if you ask Leon, he'll probably use Adobe Illustrator, but uh, once again, I'm gonna use another free software and it's called Inkscape. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this with Inkscape. Uh, let me show you the website of Inkscape. You can also, once again, go ahead and download it. It's uh, free. So let's try to edit this. Okay, so this is the tilt switch and I'm gonna try to edit this. So let's go here, let's blow it up, blow, blow, blow. And let's say, just for the sake of uh, example, I'm gonna try to delete this uh, part. Delete it and delete it. Now, 
it is infringing. If you want to create a new part, it's always, always good to edit an existing one. So if you are trying to create a resistor, find another resistor and try to edit it. Because SVG, which is made up of a lot of XML tags, if you come here and look at the XML editor, you see that the editor has IDs, like connector and the pins. And this is how later on Fritzing will identify these names and use this connection to connect up in the breadboard. So the names are very important. The first time I tried, I tried to do it with a bare SVG, it does not work. So try to edit an existing one. So, yep, I'm just going to remove this and let me just save it. Save as. I'll save it on the desktop and say example.svg. Please choose an SVG format. Plain SVG, that will do. Save. Right, and then you can quit. Now what you do, you come back to here and let's... This time you will click uh, edit part. So let's click it. And there you go, you can edit now. So you can have a few uh, looks of it. This is the schematic, this is PCB, this is icon, and this is the metadata. And these are the connectors, the pin names. So what I'm gonna do, now I'm gonna load the image. And this time I'm gonna go and choose the example that I created, this one the one without the inner part of it, you know, just for example. And similarly, I'm gonna do the same thing for the icon. I'm also gonna choose the example here. All right, and then I'm gonna save it, uh, Cyanese switch. I don't know how this works, but yep, this is my switch. All right, and that's it. Now I have a part called this one, a new one that it can be used here. And the first time I created, like I said, when I made completely new, these lines did not work. Like you see these energized lines, but now it works. And similarly, you can also go and export it and save the part here. You can edit it and so on and so forth, okay? So freezing is really easy if you want to create some electronics, uh, especially the breadboard part of it, uh, you can use freezing. Do you have any questions? So I find personally, if you go to GitHub, if you go to GitHub and then you kind of search for Fritzing, you will basically find Adafruit's SparkFun libraries inside there. And you can send a pull request as well. So you see here, this is like by Adafruit, right? This is the one by Fritzing. Go and have a look at their one. So they have all the SVGs inside there. So, And Fritzing itself, by the way. So if you create a new part, remember to send a pull request there. My talk is really short, it's just an introduction to what a software is. Uh, maybe I'll just take one question. Any question? All right, if not, yes. Yes. Yes, there are wires inside. Yes, so that's a good question. So, Yes, that's right. So you can actually just drag and drop, like what Ibnur said. And uh, uh, so let's say I drag, drag from here. And you can actually edit it as well. So you can, let's say, you know, you're you're putting this to like a, a, a live wire, so it can be read. You can also use command and then kind of bend it. Yes, you can. You can. You definitely can. So I'm going to stretch one from here to here. Yeah. This is I find, like I said, I find the breadboard one uh, most easy for beginners. You know. Like a, like a picture, like if you go to, I don't know if you deal with Johnny Five, like like these, this example, like let me give you something like um, a switch, let's say, um, okay, a servo or something like that. You know, this is much more relata relatable to a beginner than somebody who, who has already done electronics, then that person can do with schematics, but this is so needed for beginners. So I highly recommend Fritzing when you are using it for teaching. I think uh, Gabby would know even better. Yes, Ibn. So, let's say, uh, let's say I input a 5 volt battery on something. Like yes. Setup, right? And I arrange like resistors of various resistors. Yes. Is there a way for me to like, let's say, point to a, a wire and it says that okay, uh, this plate, in this point is how many volts, in this point... In yeah, I think, I, uh, can you annotate it? I do not know. I have personally used another software called Sketch. Yeah, I have actually used Sketch for this. Oh, really? Yeah, but because I remember um, there was a note bolts going on and uh, Chinmay, another guy, was doing um, 
uh, the circuit for, and so I helped him prepare the docs and I had to put in annotations for that because over there the people coming in had JavaScript background but not electronics so I used sketch because it had like bright pink annotation uh -huh. so I find sketch and uh, fritzing goes very well so thanks for the question Ibnur so sketch and fritzing and inscape all right I think I will take the questions uh, let's have more questions after it so Kang Meng with Eagle Eagle is 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 the boss like